What's up everyone welcome to another video and today I'll be talking about the best path that you can take to learn programming become efficient at it and land your dream job so why you should listen to me well everything in this video is going to be my own opinion but just to let you guys know that I in the last summer interned at Facebook and in the future I'm going to be joining Google as a software engineer so everything that I'm going to mention in this video is going to be based off my experience my 5 years programming experience and what I have learned over the years as the best way to grasp any programming language and concept and to become more efficient at it in a lesser time so the first thing that i would like to clarify is that a lot of people confuse learning a programming language with memorizing the syntax and by learning a programming language you should consider that as learning logic learning how to solve a problem learning the algorithm and the approach on how to approach a problem and to solve it in an optimal manner and programming is not about remembering or memorizing the syntax because that comes with experience and even senior engineers do not remember everything they will be using google or a search engine to search up the documentation and to search things up so even if you're not remembering or you're not being able to memorize the language do not be disheartened by that because that is a pretty normal thing so now that i'm done with this disclaimer the first thing that you actually want to consider is that what programming language do you want to learn and now in my opinion if you're a beginner you should learn a programming language that is easier to grasp that is closer to the actual human language so in short i would say you should either learn javascript or python now it really depends on your interest and i would also explain a lot of other factors that could help you decide the programming language that you want to choose so the job market is one of the biggest factors so now i would just like to mention that if you're interviewing for a new grad position or a new level position a lot of the positions will be web development positions because at most companies even the software engineers will be put into a web development type position now i interviewed at google as a software engineer but when it came to the steam selection i was given the option to choose between either front end full stack or back end so you can see that a lot of the options are going to be limited to web development so web development is a great way to start off learning because it would put you in a good position in the job market as well so the best way to learn web development is to learn javascript because javascript is basically considered like the assembly of web programming but if you don't have interest in web development or you're not interested in that you could also learn python now python is more related to general data science positions as well so if that is something which interests you and python is also a very easy language to learn so you could never go wrong with learning python as well now the third point that i would like to mention is that a lot of people make this same mistake while learning programming is that they decide to sit on a couch comfortably and just follow a youtube tutorial assuming that they're being productive they're learning the language whereas this is not the case because if you're not practicing if you're not following along if you're not doing an exercise that will help you build your muscle memory and clarify your concepts then that youtube tutorial won't help you what i would suggest you to do is follow along some concrete tutorials such as w3 schools because you can go to w3 schools and on their website you can follow along with the concepts there are multiple exercises that you can attempt which will provide you with a basis of practice it will build your muscle memory it will allow you to be stuck on the problem to debug the code and then to clarify the concept by debugging because debugging is basically the best way to learn a concept to learn how something works when you're stuck on a problem you can also try to youtube google or whatever use a website like stack overflow to unblock yourself and that unblocking will help you learn in the best manner because debugging is basically the best teacher now another point to consider is that you want a good ide and i would suggest for beginners that you use visual studio code and not only for beginners even the senior engineers and most of the companies will be using this ide so getting you to that ide will also create a sense of familiarity when you get your dream job or when you're working with a startup also please make sure not to use the light theme please use the dark theme because that would differentiate you between a newbie programmer and a senior programmer Now another important step is to build projects because projects will help you to learn as well as stand out while you're doing your recruiting. So how can you get started with your projects? Well you can go on YouTube and search the language that you're learning and search some projects that are done by some famous YouTubers such as Free Code Camp and some other YouTubers as well and you can just follow along with the tutorial and just see Hello, which project is of interest to you, which project attracts you and you could start doing that project. But I would not suggest you to lie down on the couch and just 
just watched the video, I would suggest you to follow along, watch it on another screen and do coding as you're watching so that you're also building the project as you're watching it because you do not want to slack on that. And what another point I want you to do is that while you're building the project, just pause for a moment and try to think creatively. So for example, if the YouTube tutorial implemented a button that increments a counter, well, you can pause the tutorial and try to now implement a button which would decrement the counter. So you can start to think of this as a thought building process, as a creative process, instead of like blatantly copying the whole project, you can try to add in some creative parts and try to add in some of your own creativity and functionality that will allow you to build your concepts. It will allow you to become more confident because now you're not completely copying the project that is on YouTube, but you've made a new version of it. So you can be proud of it. I think that this is key if you want to learn programming because programming is also about being creative, trying to think of a problem, trying to think of various creative solutions that you can think of to approach and solve the problem. So try to be creative while you're even following along a tutorial. Now, once you have built a few of the projects that are on YouTube, now you can start to think of your own personal projects. You can start to think of like creative projects which will help you to stand out. The first and the most easiest project that you can build is your own portfolio website or something like that. Whichever thing that interests you or is of interest to you, you can start off by building that. And I would also suggest you to put all of your projects that you've built, even the YouTube ones and the ones that you make yourself on GitHub because it would allow the recruiters and other people to see your projects, to see the work that you've done. And it would allow you to stand out because that gives you credibility because people would see that there is some code associated with your account. So you have some sort of experience. So make sure that you regularly upload your code on GitHub because that's an important part of even the interview process. Now, next, once you're comfortable with the fundamentals of programming and the programming language, you should start learning data structures because data structures is basically the only differentiating factor between you and a college student. It would help you to compete equally with another college student for the same position. And it would also help you stand out if you're good at them. So you can start off by learning through a playlist by MIT called Introduction to Algorithms. You can use that playlist. It's an amazing, amazing playlist. And imagine that MIT has put out their own data structure course online. It would put you in the same category as the college students who attended that class. So you can go off and start and improve your data structure knowledge by following that course. Now, once you're done with the data structures, now you have to practice your lead code or algo expert questions. And if you're confused between choosing which platform to practice for your coding interviews, I have made a video comparing both of these platforms. So you can go and watch that and choose whichever platform would suit you best. But basically what you want to do is that if you're using either of the platforms, you want to start off by doing the easier problems. You don't want to time yourself initially, give yourself enough and ample time, maybe like one to two hours and struggle with the problem. Struggling with the problem would really allow you to see the intricacy of the problem, to get hold of the concept and to get better at problem solving. Now, once you're getting comfortable with those easy questions, you can start timing yourself on those easy questions. And once you see that you're now comfortable with those easy questions, start by moving on to the medium questions. And I want you to move on in a difficulty pattern. So you want to move linearly from easier to harder questions. And this will increase your practice. It will allow you to grasp the concepts because the medium and harder questions are built off some of the concepts that are used within the easier problems. So you want to follow this pattern while you're practicing. So once you're done with the practice, start applying to the positions and you'll get those interviews. And once you get those interviews, you'll be able to ace them and land your dream job. It's all about the mindset. It's about hard work. But if you put in the effort, I assure you that it will definitely be worth your time. So if you like the content in this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because subscribing to the channel means a lot to me and it will keep me motivated to make more videos in the upcoming future. And as always, see you guys in the next video.